Virgo. This is a peek at your partner for the week of December the 17th through December the 23rd, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Virgo for December the 17th through December the 23rd, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Virgo for December the 17th through December the 23rd, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Virgo for December the 17th through December the 23rd, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So... Virgo, okay. <laughs> Virgo, this is a peek at your partner. So, Virgo, your partner has the five of pentacles. Your partner has the hangman. Your partner has the three of pentacles. Your partner has the ace of pentacles. And your partner has the six of pentacles. Pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. So Virgo, your partner has the five of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Virgo, listen, your partner could tell me that there's something going on financially, maybe some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Clarify the five of pentacles for Virgo's partner. Clarify the five of pentacles for Virgo's partner. Clarify the five of pentacles for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the five of wands. Aries, Leora, Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to your partner being conflicted within about something. So Virgo, listen, your partner can tell me that they're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama has taken place here. Now, Virgo, your partner could tell me that you guys had some type of heated discussion or argument here, some type of drama over the coins. Your partner could tell me that they're conflicted within concerning something dealing with this coins and financial lack. Your partner could tell me that you guys had some type of heated discussion or argument or some type of drama or maybe competition involved here in the relationship and it caused a breakup virgo your partner has the hangman could be dealing with a pisces but the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now it's suspended in the air there's no movement but your partner may be beginning to change their perspective so virgo could be dealing with a pisces but your partner is telling me that you guys are stagnant something is hanging in the balance however they could be changing their perspective Clarify the hangman for Virgo's partner. Clarify the hangman for Virgo's partner. Clarify the hangman for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the three of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner waiting. Waiting for their ships to come in. Waiting for what they set their intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of your partner looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So, Virgo, listen, your partner could tell me that they're waiting. Your partner could tell me that their ships are here. Your partner could tell me that they're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. You know, Virgo, your partner could tell me that they've been just hanging in there waiting. They were expecting something to come in. Your partner could tell me that they're just waiting. Your partner could tell me that you guys are stagnant and they're waiting to see whether or not you're going to apologize here or just give it some time. Or your partner's saying you guys are stagnant and they're going to just look to see what else is out there. Hmm. 
Virgo, your partner has a three of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to your partner being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Virgo, listen, this could all be work or business for your partner. Your partner could tell me that they're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. Your partner could tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration, or there's a third party. Clarify the three of pentacles for Virgo's partner. Clarify the three of pentacles for Virgo's partner. Clarify the three of pentacles for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or your partner saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or your partner's dealing with something in the justice system. So Virgo, listen, you could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner could tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. Your partner could tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or they're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Virgo's partner. Clarify justice for Virgo's partner. Clarify justice for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. Could be dealing with a Taurus. You guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences, or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the Four of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now we can be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home, but this is the marriage ceremony card. So Virgo, listen, this can be about your partner's foundation, their stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Now, Virgo, listen, your partner could tell me that, you know, something wasn't fair, balanced, or just dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, work, or business here concerning their financial stability. Because like I said, it could be some lack and they were maybe expecting something to come in and it's causing conflict, inner conflict, or real life conflict. However, your partner could tell me that someone wants to go into an agreement here, go into the justice of the peace for a commitment. But they're just waiting. It's just hanging in the balance because you guys had some type of fight. Could have had a fight over money. I don't know. Virgo, your partner has the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into your partner. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. Brand new practical beginnings. So Virgo, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or a commitment. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Virgo's partner. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. 
So Virgo, listen, your partner could tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance or geographical distance. Your partner could tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Virgo's partner. Clarify the world for Virgo's partner. Clarify the world for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with you, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, the King of Pentacles. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So Virgo, this is you. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Virgo's partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Virgo's partner. What does Virgo's partner think of Virgo? What does Virgo's partner think of Virgo? Clarify the King of Pentacles for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Virgo, could be dealing with a Gemini, but I ask, what does your partner think of you? Your partner may think that you have another other lover. Your partner may think that this is a partnership with work or business, or you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull here. Clarify the lovers for Virgo's partner. Clarify the lovers for Virgo's partner. Clarify the lovers for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Virgo, your partner's telling me that they're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. But in tarot, 10s are ending, so they could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. Virgo, did they come in with an offer of commitment or some type of stability here? Because it seems like they have it on the brain. And you turn them down. And they may feel like you turned them down because you had another other lover here. Virgo, your partner could also tell me that there was this offer and it could be at a distance, some type of travel here, partnership with work or business, but there's some type of letdown here. What in the world, Virgo? Your partner has a six of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance. But this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Virgo, listen, your partner could tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be out balance with the giving and receiving. Your partner may be giving something here, receiving something here. Or your partner's telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Clarify the six of pentacles for Virgo's partner. Clarify the six of pentacles for Virgo's partner. Clarify the six of pentacles for Virgo's partner. It is clarified with the eight of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve them. This is your partner detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve them. So Virgo, listen, your partner can tell me that they're walking away, detaching emotionally. But when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So your partner could be walking away or returning. Now, Virgo, your partner could tell me that they're walking away from some type of opportunity with work or business or work in business because they're worth being shortchanged here, some type of partnership. Your partner could tell me that they're walking away because you were giving more somewhere else, giving to two, you, you with another other lover causing this betrayal here. 
They're walking away because you may have accepted a gift, gave a gift, went out on a date with someone else. Virgo, your partner could tell me that they're receiving something from you and they're thinking about returning because, like I said, it's some type of commitment on the brain. Or Virgo, your partner's telling me that they gave you something and you turned them down. And because you turned them down, they may feel like you have another other lover. And so they may be walking away. What in the world, Virgo? Hi, hey, I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for your partner. And it says, my life is not as together as it seems. My life is not as together as it seems. What else for Virgo's partner? What else for Virgo's partner? And it says, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Virgo, this is a peek at your partner for the week of December the 17th through December the 23rd, 2023. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.